welcome back to the channel so today i am doing a get ready with me y'all i haven't done one of these in a minute um and i know i haven't been consistent on my channel so i'm like let me go ahead and do a get ready with me y'all because i got some stuff i gotta tell y'all okay so um today is saturday and i'm not doing anything me and Des gotta film so of course it's just gonna be my filming look for today and yeah so we're gonna hop right into the get ready with me y'all know i'm gonna do my same little um makeup i always do my brows are already done des got me some wine okay period let me get into this makeup look y'all so i gotta tell you, i know y'all gonna think i'm weird but i gotta tell y'all something so I don't know if y'all remember my video um, from back when I like kind of started YouTube again. So, okay, I'm making sure I'm doing the right thing, y'all, because I go in order for all my makeup. That's dead, y'all. Say hey, dead. Hey, y'all. So, um, y'all, like the video, if y'all don't remember the video that I did about my ex boyfriend being a crackhead, y'all, I have been missing him. And I know it's weird. I know y'all gonna be like, what the hell? Like, what, why would you miss a crackheaded boyfriend? But y'all, honestly, he was like one of my favorite exes. Like, I honestly feel, feel like he's like the only ex who like truly, truly, truly loved me. Like, besides me finding out that he was doing some type of drug, um, besides me finding out he was doing some type of drug, you know our relationship was good now we was together during like the quarantine time um and our relationship was excellent y'all i mean like excellent like i was so happy with him everything for like the first three four months was going perfect in our relationship and then like we just started getting into it like started getting into it and that's when i went and i thought oh i put too much concealer on this eye I went through his stuff and I found that um, them drugs or whatever. And this is not like no weed, y'all. Like I told y'all in the last video, like this was actually like some 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 shit. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Like, it was some shit that he, he definitely should never been doing or whatever. But I honestly have really been missing him. Now I have blocked him on every social media site there is. I blocked him on Facebook, I blocked him on Instagram, I blocked him from my phone. And the way it kind of ended, y'all, I put him on my house. I don't know if y'all told y'all that, but he was living with me and I put him on my house or whatever. Oh, y'all, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I put too much concealer. I should have tapped this concealer in a little bit. Um, but I had put him on my house after I had figured out, you know, I had found this stuff in his um, pocket or whatever. I put him on my house and pretty much told him to go back to wherever he was. And then I literally blocked him on everything. Like, I think I talked to him one time. It was like maybe a month later after I put him out. He had called me from a blocked number. And of course, you know, I answered it. But um he had come from block number hi answer he asked me how i was doing or whatever and you know at the time it was still fresh i didn't want to talk to him or whatever but for the last few days i have been dreaming about this man y'all last night i had a whole dream about him like he was in a whole relationship y'all and i don't know why like he is like the only boyfriend i actually could be like myself around we could like just drop like it was literally like a friendship like it was literally like a friendship like i could always be myself around him i could tell him literally everything under the sun so y'all i don't know what the hell to do i don't know what to do like do y'all think i should reach out like just to me because like now it's kind of scaring me like i wonder if he's okay like because i keep having dreams about him it's like my second time having a dream about him which is so damn weird. And you would think I, I would have a dream about the person I talk to the most, and I don't. I'm always having dreams about him. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm scared that he may be sick or something, or he may be like in a hospital. I don't know what it is, y'all. Like, I'm, I don't know. Like, I'm thinking like I should block him on Facebook and try to reach out to him. Um, so I don't 
don't know. Y'all know y'all always got y'all favorite ex. And like, he is like my favorite ex, no matter what has happened. Like, he's always gonna be my favorite ex because I've always had a good time with him. Um, y'all have seen him on my channel before. If y'all are OB subby of mine, this is like the only dude besides my child's father I have broadcasting on my YouTube channel. So if you want to be nosy, you can definitely go back on my channel and um see him because he's the videos are still up. We went to Panama together. Um and like what was that 20s? I got my I got my license in 20. 15. So yeah, it was like 2014, 2015. No, I got my license in 2015. So it was in 2015 we went to Panama apart. I miss him. I do. I do miss him. But I feel like we probably need closure. That's probably what it is because he didn't get to talk to me. He didn't get to talk to me about it because I was so furious that he didn't tell me. That's the only thing was mad. Like it's like he didn't tell me. If he would have told me that he had an addiction, then I probably would have been, you know, I would have went a, a lot, like the whole situation probably would have transpired differently. But it's the fact that he hid it from me is what like really, 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 really makes me angry. And like, we definitely could have possibly, possibly moved on from it. Um. But it's just the way he went about it. And I think I want to tell him that. Like, I don't want you to feel like, hold on, y'all. I was like, I just think we just need to have some closure because we definitely didn't get any closure. I was just furious to, you know, why I found, you know, why he was doing it and why you hid it from me. So I just feel like we just need that closure. That's pretty much it. Like, I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments what you think I should do. Or do you think I should leave him alone? Go about my business. I don't know what to do, y'all. But this is my favorite eyeliner. It's by LA Color, LA Girl. Um, it's called Fine Line. And it gets my um, it gets my um my wing liner so precise. I'm running out of it. I need to get another one. But anywho, y'all, I hope you guys are tuning in to me and Dez's channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you guys sub to our channel. Um, it's definitely getting lit over there, y'all. Like, it's definitely lit. Like, we are growing quick. Like, and, like, it's been plenty of people who don't know us personally that has, like, told me and Dez, like, y'all are so funny. Like... I know me and Dad's life was made to do this. I think that's probably why God put us back together because the world needed us. <laughs> the world needed us, y'all. So our channel is growing so fast, y'all. I'm super excited about it. Um, I don't know, like right now, I'm not really, I'm not gonna say I'm not worried about this channel um, because I feel like I have honestly built like a faithful, genuine, caring, like subscription base like i'm not really pressed like i am pressed to you know gain followers on this channel but it's like my channel is so peaceful i feel like i can definitely be myself you know i feel like i literally genuinely have really great followers like y'all always like send me stuff on instagram you know y'all have literally been Hold on, I'm trying to get this swing. Y'all have literally been like faithful to me like since I've been, you know, of course I wish, you know, I want my channel to grow rap rapidly, but I'm not pressed about, you know, all the extra shit that comes behind being a bigger YouTuber. Um, you know, as far as me and Dez, like it's different because I have guests to lean on with our channel, but with my channel it's like, it's just me it's kind of hard, you know. So like, I'm not really pressed about my channel growing too rapidly. Like, I'm not in a rush. I'm just going with the flow. I'm happy. I'm just producing con like genuine content. Like, I'm not, you know, being, you know, if y'all can, y'all feel where I'm coming from or whatever. You know, whenever the time will permit, God knows when He wants my channel to grow. And it's probably not right now because I'm probably not being the best that I could possibly be. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I definitely don't question God's work. I know he got some in store and that's why he, you know, he has, 
gave me the opportunity, me and Des opportunity to have our channel, you know? So, um, I'm not really too pressed about my channel. I'm definitely happy where it is. And, you know, I'm gonna keep producing content uh, for y'all. And it's just gonna be that. You know, I live a real life outside of YouTube. So, you know, yeah, y'all, but back to me and Dad's channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Like, make sure you guys sub. Um, we actually are doing like a new feature on our channel that we're gonna talk about in our next video. Our next emergency tea video that we decided to do for our channel to help it grow a little bit more. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm super excited. So y'all know my baby's birthday is coming up. She's about to be five. Oh my God, I don't have any um, tweezers. Y'all, my baby's birthday is coming up and I am gonna vlog this. I know I always say I'm gonna vlog and I never vlog her birthday. So I'm definitely gonna vlog her birthday this year. Hopefully, you know I me mean, her daddy is on good times because if he gonna irritate me, then I probably won't vlog. But um, it's, well, it's my baby's fifth birthday and I'm super duper excited. So I'm trying to plan it, um, but you know, when life is in your way, it's hard to plan shit. But I've been trying to plan it. Um, I think I'm going to just take her to like main event. Main event or something like that. Like some type of fun place for her to um, interact and stuff. Because y'all know winter babies you can't do much with. So her birthday is always going to have to be indoors. So I'll probably just take her to like a fun place to do. And have fun with her family. And then my baby starts school next year. So if you guys don't know, she's not in pre-K just because right now the pre-K schedule does not work with um does not work with my schedule. So like pre-K gets out of school at um like 2:30ish and I don't get off of work until 5 sometimes. So is, you know, I don't have any, her dad lives like a good 30 minutes away from me. So it's not like, you know, somebody can just go grab her after school. So I decided for her not to, to attend pre-K and she would just attend kindergarten. But if you guys know my child and have seen her in video, she's very smart. Um, she can hold a full conversation with you. She knows her name. You know, so I'm not really worried about her missing pre-K because there's not much, you know, that they can teach them, like, that I can't. So, you know, she's just going to attend school next year, y'all, which I'm super excited about. Um, oh, my God. My lashes. I had to put my lashes on. And I put a lot of glue, so... Y'all, this glue, I, I use like different glue. I usually don't, I usually just use like regular hair glue, but I decided to buy this um, eyelash glue. I don't know if y'all can see if it's gonna focus. This eyelash glue I decided to purchase and it's actually okay, it's not as bad. Um, I've been using hair glue for years since I started using lashes and I just fell in love with hair glue. So this, this is really isn't bad. It's by um, Sassy. Sassy. It's called Sassy Eyelash Glue. It's not really that bad. So, this would be quiet. Um, yeah, I've been loving it. I've been using it for the last few um, looks I've been doing. So, yeah, y'all. I am so happy. Now, back to me getting off of Instagram. I, probably, I know y'all probably want to know what the hell is going on. Like, I really haven't been able to tell y'all. Like I tell y'all in the vlogs, but um, well, I just needed to a break. Like me personally, I follow a lot of celebs on Instagram. I follow a lot of celebs, y'all. Like a lot, and I just feel like 
not even just the celebs. I feel like it was just the people in general who I was following that I just needed a break from. And that's why I decided just to like, get off Instagram for a while. Like I'm thinking maybe just, I decided maybe December, January, I'll probably come back on. Um, and me personally, I'm nosy, so, you know, I'm always on Instagram trying to keep up with the latest tea, keep up with everybody doing, who they messing with. You know how, you know the point of Instagram to be nosy. Um, so I just feel like I generally was not like in tune with my real self. I feel like I was just comparing myself to all these celebrities and you know, comparing my average life to these celebrities when they have, you know, this lavish lifestyle. And you know, I'm just a regular girl. Um, and I just feel like it was just taking me into a depressive state. And I felt like I was starting to compare stuff. Like, well, you know, they have this and I don't. You know, their child is rocking this. My child is not. You know, just the average, you know, the social media. You know, people, how people, you know, do on social media, whatever. And I've tried before to be off of Instagram for a while, but it really did not work. Um, but this time, I'm like, I truly want to be happy. Um, I truly want to be happy. I want to get back in tune with my true self. Um, yeah, like, I'm tired of hearing everybody else's drama. Like, my life is peace, so why hear about somebody else's BS? So that's when I was just like, I seen a post on TikTok was like, um, sometimes you just gotta delete everything, delete everybody, and just be happy. And that's when I was like, I told my friends, cause I didn't want them to, <laughs> to you know, ask me where I'm at, what's wrong. Why you ignore me? Um, so I told my friends, I was like, please don't tag me in nothing. Um, hold on, y'all. I'm trying to find my, oh, here we go. I'm trying to find my uh, concealer. I told them, I was like, please don't tag me in nothing. You know, I'm about to delete Instagram. I didn't want them to worry about me. So I deleted Instagram and I've been off for about, what, two weeks now? I've been off for about two weeks like faithfully, like I have not logged in or logged out. Like I don't even have the app on my phone no more. So my life has been so peaceful. I've been to with myself. I've been happy with myself. I'm on Twitter, but Twitter is way different from Instagram, way different. Twitter is like a whole new world. So I'm on Twitter, but Twitter, Twitter ain't with all that. Like Twitter actually inspires me to do a lot of good things, honestly. So I'm on Twitter, of course, I'm on TikTok. I use TikTok as a way to get out of boredom of work. Um, so I'm constantly on TikTok watching videos. Um, and I'm on YouTube, so my main focus is my YouTube. That's why, you know, I've been doing my thing or whatever. So that's what I've been doing. And I don't know what, I honestly, I'm not gonna even gonna give my myself a time of when I'm gonna be back on youth, I mean Instagram. Just whenever I feel like, you know, I wanna get back on, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna time myself, cause I want it to be like a natural thing, you know? I don't wanna have to keep relying on Instagram. So, and I've been on Instagram for, what? I've been on Facebook for damn near, what, almost 12 years? So I've probably been on Instagram for damn near more. I think this is your blue, your beauty blender. Is it pink? <clears throat> I think that's yours. It's not mine. No, you don't. I don't really have. Anyway, <laughs> boy. So, I can't even do my contour. So, um, yeah, you know, like I feel so much better and I don't know when I'm gonna be back. I don't know when I'm gonna be back. I honestly don't know. And I honestly don't care. Like, if y'all ask me, I don't care. I, I, I really don't wanna be back. Like, I definitely wanna 
our social media has just gotten bad. Like, especially being in Atlanta, you know, people is just just doing the most with social media. So it's like, I really don't care. I just want to be in tune with myself, in tune with my daughter, in tune with my uh, businesses and my friends and, you know, being the mom and the brand ambassador and the content creator that I am, you know? So, yeah, yeah, I'm just living life. But that's why you guys act. So I don't want y'all to be worried about your girl. I don't want y'all to be worried about your girl. I don't like my ponytail, y'all. I feel like my head is so freaking big. Like, at first I had like a little side part with the ponytail. But y'all, my head is huge. My head is very huge. It's humongous. I don't know if I like it or not. Um, I'm gonna add some mascara on my bottom lid. Add some mascara. Ooh, yeah, my phone so I can see like <laughs> the little things in the back. So I got it on a, a I got invited on a date tomorrow. <laughs> y'all think I should go? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell y'all who was with, but I'm gonna tell Dez when I get off camera. Because Y'all, why does this always happen? Like, when you leave people alone, you happy with yourself, you happy with your life. People want to come and disturb your peace. So, the spray that I'm spraying, I think I got it in my eye, is the Make It Last by um, Milani Setting Spray. This is what I use to set my face. I usually use MAC, but I haven't been to the mall. I need to buy some offline, but I need to go to the mall. My edges is curling up. Um, so I don't know if I should go or not. Cause I tried to get away from him and it seems like, I don't know what he trying to do. Like, I feel like he's, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I really like have not talked to him in a whole week. And he calls me today and like, I don't know what he trying to apply. Like, it's like at this point, it's like, do you want to get married or not? Like you playing games and I don't have time. And I don't know why he think I'm playing games with him, but I'm really not like, y'all these, okay, let me tell y'all this story. So I was like, I was like, let me see if I should start back dating or whatever. So, you know, I was like, let me hop on Facebook dating and see, try it out, see how it go, whatever. Found this dude, he's actually a comedian in Atlanta, okay? So he actually hangs out with a lot of comedians in the Atlanta area, like Dez, um, Desi. He hangs out, I seen him hanging out with a lot of big YouTubers or whatever, y'all. So I was like, you know, okay, he got something going for himself. He was like in his 30s. I was like, okay, so you know, we talking, we vibing or whatever. We ain't talk for two days, y'all. This man gonna ask me, can I come over? I was like, no, you cannot come over. And he, I was like, I'm not, I was like, um, I don't invite everyone into my home or whatever. And it's late at night, it's like 10 o'clock. He asked me, can, um, can he come over? I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't invite everyone into my home. He gonna talk about some, I'm not everyone. But you nobody to me. I'm not understanding. And it's like I blocked I blocked him. Like, why do y'all men feel so entitled to come to a woman's home, especially when you know she got kids? And you think after two days of me knowing you that I'm gonna invite you to my house? Like, no, it don't work like that. So I guess he was upset because I didn't invite him to my house. And he um he unfriended me on Facebook. And I ain't never talked to him again. Like, if you watching, you a bitch. You a straight bitch, and I want you to know that. And I'm glad I didn't invite him to my house or whatever. I don't have time. Like, I'm applying my mold. I'm gonna just use a, um, a um, eyeliner, eyeliner pencil. So I'm 
found my molds. They not 100% round, but yeah, y'all, like, I can't believe him. Like, you fat bastard. <laughs> like, ooh, y'all, I'm so sick of men. I'm so sick of them. Like, I said I wasn't gonna date, but now I'm just like, do I really wanna, like, I don't know. He really put the no one dating again. Like, I don't even know what I wanna do. But that is all for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this combo. I'm about to add some of this um, NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in the shade Fortune Cookie. You guys know this is my go-to lip gloss. So I'm gonna add some of that. I don't add too much because you know your girl is dark. And I don't wanna be looking like I got ashy lips. I put Carmex on first. I add Carmex, add my butter gloss. And then I'm gonna take my um, lip gloss that I got from the beauty supplies though. And it's um, the Argan Oil Lip Gloss. Literally, y'all, 99 cent. And I'm gonna apply that. And I'll probably add a little bit more lip gloss. Cause I like my lips to look like they got some color on it, you know. much just you know a little razzle dazzle or whatever but um yeah y'all this is all for this makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed thanks so much for tuning in to another video with me y'all y'all know i adore y'all don't forget to like comment and sub and make sure you guys hit that notification bell to get notified when i upload so as always i will see you guys in the next video bye